Hello crafty friends! My name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome to my first video for the newish Oh So Inspired collaboration. I hope you'll stick around, see what inspired me this month, see what I'm going to create, and find out how you can see what the team of collaborators created as well. Earlier this week, I had a fun announcement about a newish collaboration that I'll be hosting here on YouTube, and I introduced you to the first team. Now, if you haven't yet seen that video and want to get to meet the team members, make sure to click on the video in my description box below. Up on screen now is the piece that was chosen for January 2023. This was created by JJ Bolton, and I will have links to her original creation in the description box below. In front of me are the main supplies that I'll be using for the card I'm going to create. And as I start the process, I'll tell you about other tools or products that I bring in. If I do leave you with any questions, make sure to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! Before I get to creating, I do just want to remind you that my video is just one of many on the hop today. I have a whole team of collaborators who will be joining me and sharing their takes on today's inspiration. You can find their videos by clicking on the hashtag in the title. You can use the playlist link in the description box below, or you can visit their channels individually, which are also linked in the description box. I know that they're going to love for you to stop by, see what they created, and leave them some love. Now let's get crafty. I'm going to start today's process by choosing a piece of pattern paper and getting it cut down to four and a quarter by five and a half. While I do that, I thought we would revisit the inspiration piece and I'll tell you what I plan on taking from it for my project. First off, I love leaves, so that definitely stood out for me, and I like the fun colors of these. They're not your traditional fall colors or shades of green. I also noticed the vellum and how the sentiment is heat embossed on that, so those are the elements you'll see me use for today's card. I decided that I wanted to die cut my leaves for today's projects instead of stamping them. And since I had this fun new set of leaves from Cat Scrappiness and they were all still hooked together, I took advantage of that and I took this off screen and cut it multiple times on a piece of cardstock that is four by five and a quarter. This way you can see that background paper through the openings, but to help the front stand out a little more, I also cut a thin piece of vellum the same size as my white cardstock. The background pattern paper that I chose does have some faux metallic on it and I thought I would bring that onto my white piece of cardstock and what I'm going to do is use a Versa marker pen and go around the outlines of each of those openings. Then I can use some fine gold detail embossing powder on it and it just adds a little bit of extra sparkle and helps tie the white cardstock with the vellum behind it. Now I did just do one or two leaves at a time so my marker didn't dry too much and once I poured the powder on and tapped it off if I thought I needed more I just went in for an extra layer of powder again tapping it off. I also melted the powder in sections just so I wouldn't lose too much if I waited and I always like to heat up my tool about 30 seconds before I bring it to the paper. And you'll kind of see as it melts it turns shinier gold. Now I just kept up this same process for the entire sheet and here's a look at all of that done. Now I did have to go back in to the first couple leaves and I added some extra ink and powder. That's one of the good things about about using this marker like this, you can go in and do touch-ups. 
To adhere this piece to its vellum backer, I used some liquid adhesive in a fine tip bottle and I tried to get all of those white areas so it would stay nice and adhere to the vellum. I did kind of do this in parts. I put adhesive on the top and I lined up the corners. Sometimes since this is all die cut, it can get a little bit stretchy. So I tried to go slowly, making sure the edges of the white cardstock lined up with the edges of the vellum. Once I had that all adhered down, I set a stamp block on top of it and let it dry for about five minutes off camera. I wanted to be able to send this card for different occasions, so I chose this high stamp from Pretty Pink Posh's Everyday Greeting Set. Now, just like on the original inspiration, I'm going to be stamping this and heat embossing right on the vellum. I chose one of the leaves that the word would fit in, and I did make sure to prep the vellum with powder before I inked it up with the Versamark and stamped it. Now normally for vellum you need something like stays on since it's non-porous, but because we're heat embossing it, you can use something like Versamark. Just make sure to be super careful when you're stamping it, because even if you're using something like the Misty, you might not get a second chance to stamp it if that piece moves at all. Now luckily mine stamped lovely the first time, so I added the powder and heat set it. This time I did make sure to get the heat tool nice and hot before I brought it to the vellum so that I could get it to melt super quickly and not harm the vellum in any way. And here's a look at that shine. Now all of the pieces are ready so we can get our card put together. I start by adhering my piece of pattern paper to the front of a card base from my stash. This did fill the front completely, and then I'm going to add liquid glue to the back of my vellum and white cardstock piece, again trying to hide the adhesive behind the white cardstock so it's not seen through the vellum. Once I had this centered on the card front, I let it dry for about 5 minutes, and then off screen I added some gems to the front, I added one of the die cut leaves on the inside that I had left over, and my personal stamp on the back. And here are some close up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I was inspired to create today's card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now don't forget to go visit all of the other collaborators on the hop by either clicking on the hashtag in the title or their channel links or playlist in that description box below. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.